Black Business Month this all month of August and all month long. We're proud to highlight several black owned businesses that are making quite an impact in our area. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Wakisha Bailey spotlights a pioneer and a prominent dentist. Please come on in. Dr. Edward Williams runs a small dental office in Chestnut Hill. His staff has become his family and so are his patients. He's the devil. <laughs> But I love them. Miss Mary Allen is one of the first to trust Dr. Williams with her smile. Their relationship goes back more than 50 years. If he ever retires, what are you going to do? I don't know. I just hope I don't need a dentist. Walking through Williams Dental Office, you can see why patients feel at ease. Each room is unique with sports as a recurring theme. Look at his jaw joint when you clench to get that strength. His journey to practicing speaks to his own strength. In college, he was a freedom writer with the civil rights activist group at Central State University in Ohio. He fought segregation. It would turn on the water hoses. So when they shot the tear gas, the water would hold the tear gas to your clothes. It was an exciting time because we were moving as people. That gave him the fuel and determination he needed at Temple University Kornberg School of Dentistry in the late 60s. Yeah, I was the only black student in the whole school. It was, it was rough. Williams graduated in 1972 with honors. Dr. Williams specializes in oral surgery, and his research led him to discovering solutions in preventing and treating concussions. And everybody says what happens to hitting the head. But nobody's ever said, what happens when the lower jaw hits the bottom of the skull? I examine the right or left jaw joint. You see a fracture there. His back office serves as the Jaw Joint Institute. This is the first machine we use to look at the joint itself. He's treated famous patients, including the late Muhammad Ali. Part of his treatment consists of undergoing stimulation to circulate the blood flow. To help prevent concussions, he designed a custom mouth guard called j -Rez. Aside from all his professional accomplishments, his greatest pride is his enduring legacy. My son's a dentist. My daughter's a dentist. My son-in-law's a dentist. My grandson graduated last year from dental school, and my granddaughter graduated this year. Paige Alexandria Padres. For Dr. Williams, his practice speaks to the love of family and passing down the torch. Are you planning on retiring anytime soon? I enjoy what I do as a dentist. Wakisha well, Bailey, CBS News, Philadelphia. Wow, what a story and what a legacy mm -hmm. there. CBS Philadelphia is celebrating the success and innovation of African-American entrepreneurs all month long. For more on black-owned businesses we're featuring, head over to our website, cbsphiladelphia.com. Amazing Dr. Williams' story. Beautiful family legacy. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow.